Eyes that bulge are usually caused by thyroid issues such as Graves' disease or hyperthyroidism. Symptoms of having bulging eyes can include a gritty sensation with your eye movement, eyelid swelling, and redness, or even dry and irritated watering eyes. There are some treatments though for Graves' disease, including medications for thyroid disease, artificial tears, steroids, um, eye drop steroids, immunosuppressant drops, and even surgery. So we're gonna go over thyroid eye disease today and all the possibilities, what you might experience, and treatments you might encounter. Welcome back to eye school with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. And make sure to give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest eye tips and tricks I have for you. Exophthalmos is the fancy word, also known as proptosis. Those are the medical terms for bulging or protruding eyeballs. This can affect one or both eyes and is most often caused by thyroid eye disease. If you have exophthalmos, there's a small risk of your optic nerve, so that's behind your eye. It's what sends your signals between your eye and your brain. There is a chance of it becoming compressed, which can affect your sight permanently if it's not treated. But in general, how do protruding eyes, how does that have any connection to the body? Well, proptosis causes the eyes to bulge it makes it difficult to blink when you can't blink your eyes protective outer layer the cornea doesn't receive the lubrication it needs to do its job we've talked at length on this channel about how you need a good tear film to see clearly and comfortably so if you have bulging eyes you can be at risk for corneal damage some people experience other complications from bulging eyes like low vision or double vision so the reason that the eyes bulge in thyroid eye disease is because the muscle bellies, there are six muscles that are around each of your eyes that control your eye movements, and those muscles become thickened and enlarged. And as those take up more space within your orbit, it pushes your eyeball forward, causing the exophthalmus or the proptosis. So the most common cause of bulging eyes is an autoimmune disorder in which the body's immune system attacks cells in the thyroid gland and the tissue behind the eye, or Graves' disease. Proptosis in people with thyroid issues is also called thyroid eye disease, or TED. Who is most likely to experience this? Well, people who have thyroid issues. It can happen from Graves' disease, an overactive thyroid gland as in hyperthyroidism. But there are other causes of proptosis as well. You can have proptosis from infections within the eye socket itself, within the orbit. You can have proptosis from injuries, especially if they cause bleeding behind the eye. Even tumors, which may include neuroblastomas or soft tissue sarcomas that happen within the orbit and make that eye move forward, exophthalmus or proptosis. So what are the signs of proptosis? When your eyes bulge, the white part of your eye becomes more visible. The eyeballs are literally being pushed kind of forward from your eye socket. So you can see your lids retract and the white part become more visible. We have a way of measuring this in clinic with X ophthalmometry. There's several different methods of doing that, but if you're wondering if your eyes are pushing out more, or if you have proptosis, you can compare how your eyes look in current photos versus older photos. There are some symptoms of proptosis that need a prompt evaluation from a healthcare provider, and that includes if you ever have a throbbing sensation in your eyes, a bulging that comes on suddenly instead of slowly, if you have pain or redness in one or both of your eyes, if you have symptoms in one eye only, so typically thyroid eye disease is gonna happen in both eyes, but if you were to have proptosis or bulging in one eye suddenly, that is something that should be looked at right away. Blurred or double vision is another reason because that does indicate that there may be some compression on your optic nerve or on the muscles to the point where they're not working properly. I would also add if you feel um, crepitus, so it's like this sort of crinkly feeling around your eyes, or if you have whooshing, a whooshing sound that you hear with the proptosis. There's other symptoms of bulging eyes. When your eyes bulge or, or are protruding a little bit more and those lids are retracted, it leads to a 
your eyelids interacting with the front surface of your eye in a different way, which impacts you in the dry eye sense. So if you're not distributing your tears well, it's like your whole anatomy has changed, right? So you can experience a gritty sensation when you move your eyes. You can have dry, irritated, or watering eyes. You can have eyelids swelling or even redness. And you might even have muscle tightness where you feel like you can't move your eyes completely from left to right or up and down. You can even have sensitivity to light, often brought on by the dry eye issues in your cornea. Proptosis is diagnosed by a healthcare provider. They ask symptoms, medical history. They might look for potential causes. They can also look at old photos, just as I instructed you to do. We would use a slit lamp to magnify your eye structure and look at everything. We also would assess your eye and eyelid movement, checking for red soreness and irritation. We might also perform exophthalmometry. So that's a special instrument that measures how far your eyeball pushes out from your eyesight. We also can do blood tests, including a workup for thyroid disease. We might do imaging studies like an MRI or a CT scan to check for bleeding tumors or signs of infection behind your eye, or even other lab tests like a blood or tissue culture to confirm or rule out an infection within the orbit. There are some different treatments for proptosis, one of which is artificial tears. So if you have dryness caused by proptosis, your doctor might tell you to use eye drops or gel to relieve the dry eyes and protect the cornea. In the case of an infection causing the proptosis, your doctor might put you on an antibiotic. Medical treatments for underlying conditions, like medications for hyperthyroidism can help as well. You might even be on an IV medication for thyroid eye disease. There are other therapies. If you have double vision, for instance, we can do prisms in your glasses to redirect light as it enters your eye. We can also do immunosuppressive drugs, which lessen the impact of immune system attacks on your eyes, or corticosteroids that you receive by injection or through a vein in your arm to relieve swelling or restore eyesight. You may also need surgery in the case of proptosis if there were a tumor present, right? We'd want to remove that. If there wasn't enough space in the eye socket and we were worried about nerve compression. If you have double vision, that again, isn't going to be helped unless we get rid of the fact that the orbit is full, right? Like the muscles are really full. We also can protect your cornea if you cannot fully close your eyelids and there are surgical means to do that. To prevent protruding eye symptoms from getting worse, you really want to keep your thyroid levels in check. And if you do have thyroid disease, follow your healthcare provider's care instructions. There's daily medications and blood testing that you'll want to have done on a regular basis to make sure those thyroid levels are where they need to be. Smoking can make some of the proptosis treatments less effective. So quitting can have a significant and positive impact on your body's response. And in terms of the outlook, if you have protruding eyes, you're more likely to have good outcomes if you receive timely treatment to address the cause of the proptosis immediately. So getting the right therapies for your needs can also help you avoid complications. And if your question is, how long will my eyes look like this? Sometimes even with successful treatment, it may take a while for your eyes to return to their natural position, maybe even years, and sometimes we can't get rid of all of the proptosis. Long-term with proptosis, most people don't experience major complications or long-term effects, but in the cases where you have double vision or vision loss, that can be permanent. It's also necessary to keep the cornea damage under control. So if you're not blinking fully and we're having dry eye issues from thyroid eye disease, having a dry eye specialist that can help you with lubrication eye drops um, and other dry eye therapies to keep your eyes as comfortable as you can. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button and the bell so you don't miss notifications. That is it for today's iSchool. Class is dismissed. <laughs>